Hey, this is Andrew Lazarek, and you're watching Ride BMX, and I'm going to give you some tips on how to do turndowns. First things first, you want to find a jump or a flyout quarter pipe or launch ramp or something that you're comfortable with that isn't too intimidating, that'll give you like a decent amount of airtime that you feel like you'll be able to maneuver into the trick properly. For me personally, to learn them, I found it a little bit easier to do them over a hip. Any type of hip, really, anything that you just turn a little bit on because it kind of puts your weight up over the front end a little bit more, which is how you want to be when you're really getting into the trick. The first thing you want to do is when you're up in the air, start like slowly pulling the front end of your bike up into you more and more. And once you kind of get comfortable with that, you want to pull the handlebars up and start kicking out the back end at the same time. And once that starts to feel comfortable, you can start trying to like really click the trick. And to do that, you want to pull up and at the same time push your legs down, which is what's going to move the back end of the bike for you and get your legs out of the way to be able to turn the bars and really click the trick the most. So once you've tried the trick a couple times and are starting to get the back end kicked out a little bit and the bars turned at the same time, it's just going to take some practice from that point on to really do it properly. Once you get to that point, you'll definitely feel when you've done a proper one and when you really get it clicked. Getting in the hard is the hard part and once you're in it, you just kind of got to let it unwind and you'll be good. Once you got turndowns down, you can start messing around with lookbacks too, which is basically the exact same motion. Instead of throwing your body up, just pull it down a little bit. It'll feel a little bit weird at first just because your body weight and center of gravity is going to be a little bit lower. Once you're kind of comfortable with that, clicking it and doing the actual motion of the trick is exactly the same as the turndown. So once you've got them down and you start to feel comfortable with them, you can take them to pretty much any jump or obstacle that you want, anything that gives you enough airtime to be able to um, do it properly. Hopefully these tips will help you out. It's definitely one of those tricks that the more you do it, the better you get at it. I mean, it's just going to take practice. A lot of people say it's a trick that takes them the longest to learn, but once you get it, you'll know and you'll have a good time with it. So good luck and hope this helps.